Hi, little vloggy friend. I'm back with a new video. I'm in a balaclava right now, a fleece one, because I've been in Boston for the past week and it's been cold, like with wind chill, negative 10 degrees cold um, Fahrenheit. So it's it's been cold and that's why I'm in a balaclava. But the great news is that this video will be taking us on the journey to Miami. To make a long story short, um, my September, October, and November were kind of all eaten up by this personal mental health journey that I've been on. But I've been feeling a lot better, a lot happier, a lot less anxious, and I'm wanting to share my life with the world again. So here we are, something exciting is happening. Glenn Martins, if you're watching this, I love you. Um, yeah, I was asked to be in another diesel campaign. I'm so cold in Boston and I'm so excited to go. It's gonna be a really fun trip. They're gonna dye my hair bright red again, even though I literally own this human hair 16 inch full lace red wig. We're gonna dye it red again. Um, and then it's a one day shoot. I believe my co-star is Erin Piper from the show Elite, which is really exciting. Yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys along on this journey. It's still a few days out, but today started my preparation because I tanned my legs and I'm packing. This is what my suitcase currently looks like. I have my work cut out for me. I've never been flown out first class by a client before, so this will be really nice, very luxurious. And the hotel that I'm staying at is so luxurious too. It's literally five stars and I'm so excited to take you guys with me because otherwise I'm gonna be alone. So it's just you and me. Good morning. It's time to get ready and fly to Miami. Woo! Okay, I just got fully ready for the airport and for the flight. Having stomach aches. Good morning. Morning. Are you ready? Yes, I'm uh, going to Miami. How are you feeling? Anxious, but fine. But anxious. Yeah. That's how you, anxious Normal anxiety. You moved the table back? I moved it back with mom before she left. Oh, I didn't even notice it. Yeah. I'm going to Miami. I just made it through security at Logan and my anxiety is better and i'm just now ready to be in miami where it's 70 degrees i have made it to miami and now i'm walking to baggage claim to get my pink suitcase and find my driver. I think I see my driver looking for me. Hi. That's me, I'm Ella. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I just have to pick up my bag and then I'm ready to go. Yeah, let's hope you're coming. Yeah. I made it to my hotel! I'm staying at the Miami Beach edition. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Sexy, sexy. My driver was so nice. I have nothing to do today. It's really gloomy in Miami, but I'm super intrigued to see 
how far away the Versace mansion is because that's like all I want to see. Tomorrow they're coming to dye my hair and we're literally doing it in here somehow, like in this hotel room. Um, but yeah, this is my room. This hotel is so bougie. There's a fucking bowling alley. The woman was like, there's a pool with cabanas and the beach and you should do it all if you're not working. And I was like, I'm, I'm gonna be working. I'm gonna make a few calls. I'm gonna call my parents. I'm gonna call my agent. Just get everything sorted out. But I'm super happy to be in Miami and like on vacation for the day. So fun. Here's my outfit. Here's my outfit. I got this top at Marshall's, but it's um, Max Studio, like Max Azria, I'm assuming. Um, and then my pants are thrifted. They're a little too small, especially in the crotch, which is why I'm wearing a longer top, but they're vintage Wranglers. I got at the Silver Lake Flea Market. And then my shoes are vintage Cole Haan loafers and my bag I got for Christmas like two years ago it's just an opening ceremony mini tote bag um it's almost 5 p.m now which sucks because I was supposed to get in at 2 which would have meant that I got to my airport to my hotel by 3 and then I would have had the whole afternoon to explore but instead I got here at 4 checked in settled in and now it's five and the sun is about to go down and i'm all alone and i'm kind of scared <laughs> i'm kind of scared to go on a little walk by myself in miami i like i don't know what to expect okay i came back from my walk and realized that it was a huge wake-up call as a vlogger because I forgot to vlog the whole fucking thing. Basically, I went down to the beach and just got so excited that I was at the beach in Miami in January that I just started FaceTiming my friends and uh, was on FaceTime for my whole walk until I got back to my room. But I took some pictures. I'm gonna, let me pull them up on my phone. Um, here's proof that I went to the beach. <laughs> And here's a selfie to also prove that I was there. Now it's about 6 p.m. It's really dark out. Um, I don't really have anything to do is the thing, which is actually a blessing. I don't know why I'm upset about it. It's a blessing. I should do some like self-care and order room service, take a shower, and then like watch a movie. Um... So that's probably what I'll do. When I left to go on my walk, I got in the elevator and I was the only person I had my mask on. And then it stopped three floors under me and an entire wedding party got into my elevator. None of them in masks. Um, I'm learning that people here truly don't believe in COVID and I already had Omicron. So I guess it's fine because I'm immune, but it's just crazy to like, witness that because i'm so used to like mask mandate vaccine mandate taking as many precautions as possible like because i had it and i know the consequences and like i just it's crazy to me to experience that anyways i've been wearing my mask um i got a big job coming up i'm not getting sick the flu is going around strep throat is going around couldn't be me love could not be me all of the products at this hotel are from Le Labo. And so tomorrow I'm gonna ask housekeeping for like as much of everything as possible because I want free Le Labo products and everything else at this hotel is so expensive. I just found the prices for everything. And like the candle in my closet, if I wanted to burn it, it costs $80, so. I'm trying to get some free shower goods. If I get like 10, it probably equals like one normal sized one.
it's so cold. It's so cold. Oh my God. And I forgot I was wearing mascara. <laughs> this is cursed. Okay. Um, love that for me. I'm gonna wash my face and get in a robe, but that was a great shower. They're literally so much better. Let's do skincare together. I just figured some people might be curious what I've been using to keep my skin nice and clear. And I just washed my face with the Tatcha rice wash. I don't know how, but somehow I ended up on the Tatcha gifting list. And so they've been sending me free products and that's just really nice. So thank you whoever put me on that list. I have two moisturizers I like to use and I literally left the other one in my suitcase. So let me go get it. I feel like sticking to one brand usually is what works best for my skin. Cause then like all of the formulas work together. It doesn't really matter what brand it is. Just like sticking to one is what's best for me. So I just went in with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream goes with the rice wash and then to follow that up i have this overnight repair um it's like kind of like a mask but it's really just like another moisturizing layer to lock in moisture and build your moisture barrier so yeah but it just look at my skin it's literally glowing after that and I just massage it in. What I really want is one of those like microcurrent face rollers that like lifts and tightens, but that's like a few paychecks away. Lastly, I'm also using a Tatcha lip mask. This is the Kiss You Lip Mask. And I just like how thick it is without being sticky. It's like super glossy. And I feel like it's really repairing my lips when I wear it. So, yeah, not sponsored, but just really love the shit out of those products. It's just me. Okay, may I ask any dietary restrictions or allergies that I should note? No, none. Okay, what would you like tonight? Um, can I please order the pasta dish? Silly. Yes, please. And Absolutely. can I also get a side of fries? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's perfect. That's all I want. Do you want to add any chicken to the facility? Uh, I'm okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nothing to drink, Miss Snyder, you're sure? No, I, I have water here. I'm good. Perfect. Well, then I'll place the order. We're looking at about 40 minutes. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Have a great night. You as well. Bye. Ah, I ordered dinner after being on hold for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna have dinner in 40 minutes and it's gonna be brought to my room and it's gonna be charged to the room. And that's what matters because I was gonna say, should I order Postmates? And I just saved myself money. Okay. Um, it was fine towards the end of the flight. Like I had taken a nap and I woke up and the last thing I had heard like was that we were landing in 40 minutes. And then the next thing after that, that I heard, which was like an hour later, he was like, we're trying to land. We've been in like a holding pattern around South Florida for the last hour. We're about to run out of fuel because we've been in this holding pattern for so long that we might have to have an emergency landing in Fort Lauderdale. And so we ended up landing in Miami two hours late, but it was fine. Oh my God. My dad also flew to Florida today. Oh my God. Where is he? I don't know where he is. He has a, a business meeting. But I just realized it's Sunday night. It's nine. 
19, which means that Euphoria is on. The second episode just came out 20 minutes ago. I'm 20 minutes late. Um, I fucking love this show. The next day. Good morning. Oh, good morning, everyone. First full day in Miami. Day one of diesel prep. It's 8 a.m. and I just woke up. And I have the hairstylist coming to my room at 10. Mm. Excuse me. And I need to eat breakfast and get ready. And I have my fitting at three. I stopped in the market at my hotel. It's just called the market. Um, where I got a pen au chocolat, chocolate croissant, and an oat milk latte, which usually I can't handle coffee, but because I need to be like on today and tomorrow, I'm gonna drink some coffee. The hair guy is coming in an hour. His name is Johnny. I'm excited to meet him. I hope that he doesn't laugh in my face at what my hair looks like right now. And I hope that he just makes it beautiful. So I'll check in with you guys when he gets here. I'm gonna eat my breakfast now. I just heard from the production people and the hairstylist is here. So I have to go down to the ballroom and get a COVID test before we do the hair. So that's where I'm going. It's like really weirdly hard to find suitcases lately. Mm. Really? Yeah, like I went to like four stores to buy a suitcase and there's like none. Oh, Zay, you need to, yeah. Say hi, Laura. Hi. <laughs> We're going over all the details for the shoot tomorrow. And here's Johnny, <laughs> key hairstylist. Alice. Hi, Ali. Wait, Ali. No problem. I'm so sorry. You're perfect. It's just that your last name is Ellis, and then yes. I combine them. I know we got we, we got, got, got caught away. We got caught in Ali Ellis Allie doing Ellis. the bleach. That's what we're doing. And things are going well. Things are going well. No disasters here. No disasters. So far. So far. <laughs> oh. Nothing is going to be a disaster. No. Hair update. We're lifting. No hair in the sink yet. And we're stopping to have a little lunch break. Hey, who wants a chair? Yeah. finished the hair color as you guys can tell and now we're going downstairs to meet with production and I have my fitting in the looks and that's the update thanks for thanks for following along okay I just got down to my fitting and I'm just waiting for my turn to try on the looks but I'm really happy with how the hair came out and i think we're gonna trim it later and make it smooth and healthy feeling another video to document the journey back with michelle Oh and back with us are you making fashion though? yes is it for the internet fashion yes now? do you want to say hi no. <laughs> no. Do you want to say hi to the video? Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hi from the fitting. <laughs> hi from Miami. Hi from Miami. <laughs>
I just finished my fitting as you guys watched and I'm back in my hotel room now and I really just want to put like do you hear how my hair sounds when I brush it it's just like hey it's so thirsty so I think I'm I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm going to put a little bit of the oil that I bought in it because they dried it without any product at all to get me to the fitting. And then they didn't cut it whatsoever. So it's just thirsty. I'm going to give it some moisture so that it can come back to life a little bit. Um, and then Johnny said that he'll trim it tomorrow for the shoot so it looks good but still long and then he'll cut it for me after the shoot so that it's like perfectly healthy and will grow into like a prettier style so now that my work day is done i thought i would celebrate give myself a reward so I rolled these two little medicine sticks and I'm gonna go down to the beach and enjoy them. I'm back in my room now. I was going to vlog earlier, but I ended up having things that I had to do, which was not the vibe. I'm really hungry, so I need to order dinner, but I feel like I've already eaten the entire room service menu just yesterday and today. Um, maybe I'll get something off the kids menu, honestly. check-in before I go to bed the night before my shoot my big campaign I'm just about to do some nighttime self-care before bed I just did my skincare that I showed you last night I'm about to shave my legs which is why I'm up here on the sink I'm about to strip down and shave and I think I might put a little more oil in my ends. I don't want to go to, to work tomorrow with oily hair, but I also didn't want to go with bone dry hay hair. So yeah, a little nighttime self-care before bed and tomorrow we shoot a fucking diesel campaign. The next day. Good morning friends, it's day three in Miami and it's shoot day and it's absolutely gorgeous outside. Gorgeous, more gorgeous than me. My call time is in three hours, so I'm thinking get ready, order breakfast, go for a walk. I'm gonna have to bring this wig to set today. I'm also pretty sure that they bought more wigs yesterday, but I don't know if they're for me or for the actress or for Toni Braxton. I literally don't know, but I really want to meet Toni Braxton <laughs> and I want to meet Aaron Piper. I literally have red dye on my hands from sleeping with my hands in my hair. Okay, let's order breakfast. Hi, I just like to place an order for room service for breakfast. Uh, can I just get the eggs Benedict, please? 
Um, can I also get an iced coffee with oat milk? Yes, with oat milk, please. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Right now I'm talking with my agent about fashion week because it's currently the end of January and fashion week starts uh, mid-February and I don't, I don't want to do castings. I personally just think that castings obviously are like an important part of being a model but like once you've met all of the casting directors one-on-one -on -one. um i feel like castings are just toxic and unnecessary you're either with like 10 or like 200 girls and the only thing that you're being compared on is the way that you look and the way that your body looks and it's just so it's so draining. It takes such a toll on me mentally and physically. And then you just sit around and wait to either get a job or be rejected. So much more to me than just being a face and a body to like wear these clothes. I just don't need the negativity. Why put yourself through that? My breakfast is here. I don't know what I was gonna say, but this looks gorgeous. Yum. Can't wait. Bon appetit. I can't even lie. I had one bite of the eggs and I don't like them. So gross. And I'm just so grateful that I didn't have to pay for this because I would be so depressed if I paid for this. Anyways, I'm going to fill up on the potatoes because I obviously have to eat something. I need to be fueled all day long. I'm going to eat the potatoes, drink the coffee, eat a little of the salad, maybe try and salvage some English muffin and ham, but shit's fucking nasty. If you go, if you stay at the Edition Hotel, don't room service Eggs Benedict. The pizza last night was amazing though. Do we have to wait for you there or uh, you're coming by yourself? Uh um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I don't think you have to wait because it's a like a photo shoot happening, so it'll be oh, the full day. Yeah, um, it's going to be a little bit, you know. Yeah, I don't know what the what the plan is actually. Okay. <laughs> no problem. I just arrived on set and I have my own trailer which is phenomenal amazing I have a body double her name is Marissa and this is what's going on on set I got a COVID test and now I'm gonna get something to eat because that breakfast did not hit Calm de garçon. It's very calm. But okay, Supreme sneakers. I no. can't. I can't with the whole outfit today. Thanks, boo. Hi, vlog. <laughs> I'm in hair. Or no, I'm not even in hair. I'm in makeup <laughs> and nails. Here's my Hi. song. Hi. Hi. It's Emmy. Um, <laughs> You're like, who is this bitch? I honestly did forget your name, and I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's Thank totally you for cool. Don't me. worry. I'm with we Abby just met. I'm Mary Sol. And. Mm -hmm. We're getting glam. That's all. <laughs> Catch in with you guys later. Okay, bye. I just met Tony Braxton. She's my co-star. Here's the photo. She was so nice. I got my hair cut and it's about 5.30. I don't know what time it is actually, but we haven't even started shooting yet. So we're gonna go to Marshalls, which is in the same plaza, and go shopping. I'm in Marshalls mid-shoot. Well, actually pre-shoot. I'm looking for a sweater to wear because it's getting really cold. Um, I'm buying this graphic puffer from Marshalls right now because it's sounding like we're going to be on set quite late. So we're going to stay warm. Okay, shooting is starting. I'm going over to set right now with all my stuff. 
We're shooting in a diner. It's gonna be amazing. Each is at two outfits, right? Yeah, just two outfits. And you put the bag in. The bag, the bag. Yes. Okay, yeah, cool. Sure. Is it, is it fine? Cool. Um, and then a chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll make sure. Okay. Yeah, go. What's up? It's um oh my flash is on. Go for the The waiter. It's 7:30. Still waiting to start shooting. Love it. This is the best job in the world. Bye. It's 11:30 and we're still shooting. Guys, we have, vlog? we have been shooting all day all while it's day. been Natanya's birthday, and I had no idea. <laughs> so everyone watching this right now in the comments, say happy birthday, Natanya, and she is saying thanks right now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's 11:45 p.m. We still have to shoot all of the social content. We're so excited. We're going crazy. Yeah. We're having the Susie. best time. She's tired. Did you say hi to the camera? Say hi to the vlog. She just doesn't want to. That's Susie. And if you couldn't tell, we're all going a little crazy, but it's in a good way. That's great. We're having fun. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're on 16 hours. 100%. Hey guys. Seen me a lot. <laughs> it's been all you, Ali. It's 1 a.m. We just wrapped, as expected. Got kicked out of the diner. Yeah, my flight for tomorrow got canceled, and I'm trying to figure it out right now. Hey, everyone. It's now 2:27 in the morning. I'm back at my hotel. I just smoked, not gonna lie. I'm sorry I didn't vlog that much actually while we were shooting. It was just actually one of the most chaotic and stressful shoots I've ever been on. Basically the owner of the diner that we were shooting in just had a really big attitude and really didn't like us being there even though I'm sure she was getting paid a lot of money to rent out the space. I went through like seven looks and then they were like, I thought we were done. And they were like, no, we haven't actually shot any of the socials yet. We have to do that still. So it was just a really long day. And right around midnight, my flight ended up getting canceled tomorrow morning. I'm done freaking out about it. But I can't go to sleep because I have been on set all day and so now my mind is racing. So I'll just brush my hair. I'll brush my hair and I'm probably gonna end the vlog here because I'm flying home tomorrow so no more exciting stuff. The shoot will hopefully be out soon so you guys can all see what I'm talking about. I've had a great time in Miami. I'm so grateful to have had this experience and stayed at this hotel. I honestly wish I was staying longer when my flight originally got canceled. I was like, I don't mind staying an extra day, just hanging out, but I'll be out of here. I have to wake up in four hours and go to the airport and I'm not gonna vlog that because it's gonna be stressful. So goodbye everyone. Thank you for coming along on another journey with me. I love you. Thank you for supporting me. It's 6.45 a.m. Checking in one last time. My car's coming to get me in 30 minutes to go to the airport and it's probably gonna be bad, so. Bye everyone. My camera died last night when I wanted to say that, so bye now. <laughs>